If you're planning on using a gas-powered portable generator as part of your household emergency preparedness plan, then stop right now and watch this video because I'm going to be explaining to you why I've decided to abandon my gasoline generator and why I'm converting to propane. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge, and for the past eight years I've been helping families get their house set up to be able to survive a loss of the electric grid. And I've had an opportunity to be involved in over 600 renewable energy residential systems. Now in a lot of cases when we're setting up for the house or for a portion of the house to be able to run off the grid, in many cases I advise my clients to also think about having a fuel burning generator as a backup to the renewable energy system. Uh, and the reason for that is this, uh, oftentimes in the winter, you know, in the winter months, you might have an entire week where the weather is overcast every single day. And if you're running in a grid down mode with solar and battery power only, uh, in a case like that, your batteries are gonna draw down faster than the solar panels are gonna keep up to recharge them. And so it's nice to have a backup option where you could fire up your generator. You don't have to run it all day, but just let it run for a few hours to recharge the batteries, and then you can switch to running back off the renewable energy system. Now, when we first did our setup here, uh, I used a Honda 7500 watt gas powered generator, similar to the one that's pictured here on the display. And we used that for the first couple of years. But today I decided to do a video about why I'm deciding to do the propane conversion because I'm about to have to break down and uh, clean out the entire carburetor assembly uh, for the second time in the last year. The reason this happens, guys, is this. So uh, gasoline, especially ethanol-based ga gasoline, tends to absorb a lot of moisture if it's left outside. And once that moisture accumulates, it can react with other chemicals uh, in the generator or in the fuel, and you end up with this metallic um, residue and kind of just looks like rust water that builds up in the fuel. And it clogs up all the components of the combustion system, uh, the carburetor uh, and so forth. And also the fuel filter can clog up the fuel filter as well. And so when that happens, fuel does not actually get into the combustion chamber of the engine until you take all, all apart and clean out all, all the pieces. I'm actually about to go to the hardware store to get some of the carburetor cleaner and, and do that whole routine here myself. But it occurred to me that now that I'm doing this for the second time, it really is the time to make the switch from gasoline to propane. And there's a couple of reasons why. Besides the whole headache about the fuel uh, accumulating moisture, um, there's also just the, the practicality of storing large quantities of gasoline. Uh, you have to use fuel stabilizer uh, also, it just takes up, it takes up a lot of space. Now here at our house, and just like many of our clients, we have a propane tank underground, which runs our water heater and our stove and our furnace. And so since I've already invested in having that storage and having it you know, out of the way underground, uh, I might as well take advantage of that fuel source if I do have to run the generator uh, in an extreme scenario. So instead of stockpiling more and more of the red gas cans in my garage, and going through the process of having to specially treat all those gas cans, I'd rather take advantage of the fuel source that I already have underground with the propane. The other advantage is that propane actually burns cleaner and cooler than gasoline, which means you should get longer running time and longer service life um, out of your generator. Now you still have to do the oil changes and check the spark plugs and things of that sort, but the propane fuel itself, since it burns cleaner and cooler, uh, you shouldn't, you shouldn't uh, reach the end of the life for the engine itself for much, much longer. So these are my reasons why I'm going to be converting my gas generator over to propane. Um, I plan to capture part of that process, so I'll probably do another video about that as we're actually doing the conversion to show you how that process works. And again, the goal is here just to give me a, a more solid, more stable, safer solution so that in a worst case scenario, if I had to run the generator because the solar wasn't keeping up, I know that I can rely on that. Well, folks, as always, if you're getting good information here, be sure to go ahead and click on that like button, click on the subscribe button, and be sure to share this link with other people that you think will be uh, benefited from the information here. As always, I'm Joe Ordia, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.